looking good for launch tonight. This is the first nighttime shuttle launch in over four years. All systems on board Discovery are operating with no problems reported. Tonight's launch is expected to be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions of the U.S. DLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. And we are completing the purge of the shuttle's main engines. Everything continues to look good with Discovery. Discovery OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 close. Discovery copies, close the visors and O2. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. T-minus one minute, 35 seconds. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. T-minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T-minus one minute and counting. T-minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed of thousand miles an hour, altitude one mile. Downrange four and a half miles from the Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines startling back to two thirds of the radius to us. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. Here's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston. Go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for discovery. Altitude 8 miles. Speed 1700 miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells.
Goose drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Possibly five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. Speed almost 5,000 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles, downrange 110 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. And Discovery Houston, Billy, we see a nominal shutdown plan. Copy, nominal shutdown plan, thanks. About a minute to main engine cutoff. Normal shutdown planned. Speed 14,000 miles an hour, altitude 64 miles, downrange 643 miles. Continue to watch live downlink television pictures from an external tank camera. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. External tank separation confirmed. Special discovery now on orbit on its own. Discovery Houston, we saw a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required, and we just watched some great video you get off the tank. Copy, nominal Miko, Ohms 1 not required, and you got a lot of smiling faces up here. <laughs> 